Uh, the, the experiment that we did with the city of Boston uh, in Massachusetts, where, where I work, um, this is a map of the city of Boston. Uh, and at the bottom, uh, they developed this new app called the Daily Brief, which now you have an app like this here. We, we chatted about it yesterday, where if you see a pothole or a street sign missing or a traffic light that's out, you can take a picture of it and text it to this website. And then the website will track that service request. And you can actually go on and track your service request. And you can look at other people's service requests as well. So you get full information on what's happening in the city of Boston. So we did an experiment to figure out, well, what does this do to change people's perceptions of government? How should we design this site? What kind of transparency should we use to change people's perceptions that government's doing a good job? So this is, in a sense, the control treatment, where all we're showing you here is a map of the city. And you can see at the bottom a couple of numbers. So on the left, is, it says open. 8,845. That's the total number of open service requests in the city of Boston. Next to it is opened yesterday, 64, which means 64 people yesterday took a picture and sent it in. And closed yesterday is 90. Yesterday, 90 service requests the city took care of and closed them. So yesterday was a good day, in a sense, for the city because they closed more than were opened. So we show some people just this. And we ask them a bunch of questions about government. Think how you might react to seeing this particular page. Does it change your opinion of government, or does it not change your opinion of government? But then other people, we gave them a different version where we tried to increase the transparency and increase how interesting this was to look at. And that looked like this. So same data as before, really. The numbers haven't changed. But now what we're doing is we're showing you these toggles of what was opened yesterday. And we're showing you the other toggles of what was closed yesterday. And you can actually take your mouse and hover over them. And they'll blow up. And they'll say, well, this is a pothole over on that street. Uh, now, actually, not at the time, but now, what happens when a service request is closed, the work, work crew takes a picture of the fixed pothole. And that uploads, too. So you can actually see pre-post on the website. People really like it a lot. People will surf around here for a while to see what's going on and what's up. What we find, so think about these two versions again. One of them, we tell you the city now has a website, and we're tracking the total number of requests. And then the other, we show you a little bit more about the process that's going on. Then we ask people, how do you feel about government? Well, it turns out that when people see this compared to the previous one, a bunch of things change. Uh, so they, when they see the transparency, they, they agree that uh, government should be larger which is really hard to get Americans to say. Uh, they think the government's doing a better job. And my favorite one is they think government does a better job than it's given credit for. That's a big one, because Americans in particular say government does nothing and deserves no credit for anything. And this small visualization that we try here can bump people's attitudes on, that, on these metrics to get them to say, you know what, I trust government a little bit more. I do think they're doing a good job. 